Right, so here we are back on Cobra Farm. And this week we are going to be re-attempting the forestry, uh, but a little bit different. We're going to be actually in the forest which is on this map, there's two. I'm going to go for this one first. Um, but I'm not going to use the machinery which comes with the game. It's also interesting to uh, see that it's not just me who has trouble using the forestry equipment in the game. It seems to be everyone who finds it quite difficult. Uh, so I did download this mod. Now, I always say about being realistic, I think this video might have to be a bit of a one-off um, because obviously it's not exactly the most realistic mod ever. It's basically a chipper which you, I'm going to put on the back of the tractor, but you reverse up to the tree which you've, you've felled and uh, it will then feed it through and then the, the, the auger here, will uh, the, the chute will throw it into the trailer. So, um, yeah, we're going to give it a go. Uh, I don't know how much I'm going to use it, but it's just an attempt just to see how much easier I can make the forestry because it is quite hard. I know there's a lot of mods out there for forestry. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to give it a go. I mean, yeah, it's not the most realistic thing ever, but it is worth an attempt. So I'm just going to sort of position this trailer about here, and then I need to put this chipper on the back of the tractor ideally um, and then we'll fell a tree and really just see how it goes if it looks ridiculous and stupidly unrealistic then I'll stop uh, but if it works quite well then I can't really see a problem with doing it just for today's video just trying it out really and the link for this mod is in the description below and so are the credits for anyone interested uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll put this here, we'll jump out, we'll get our Husqvarna chainsaw and we'll go for this tree I think, probably the best one to go for, for the first one. I have had a little play around with this mod and it did work the first time I did it, so that's why I'm giving it a go. If it hadn't worked at all, I wouldn't even have started recording this video. Um, so yeah, that's obviously not gone quite as planned. It's gone and hit the stumps of the previous one I did, so I'll just clear these out of the way. Right, so there we go. I've managed to move it off those stumps, and it's here. There's not much space to move around in here. I've also turned the trailer around, because then it's easier to get it into the trailer. Uh, but now I just need to reposition this. I'm thinking it's actually supporting it there. So if I move that tractor, it might roll away, which would be pretty annoying. We'll give it a go. Yes, it is. Uh, let's just see where it goes to. Now, if it doesn't go too far, it might actually be a good thing. Yeah. So, I'm going to just reverse this trailer back. And hopefully, this might work. But it is all trial and error, and it could go horribly wrong. Um... So yeah, we'll get this thing turned on. The chute is pointing at the trailer. It's now feeding. That seems to be working. It's working. I think if I just keep going back a bit, it should feed it all in. So you can see the idea of this, and it is a good idea. I don't know whether this kind of machine is used in real life. I I don't, I don't know. I know you can get these uh, forestry cleaners the, um, that rip out all the stumps and everything. But, yeah, I don't know. It, it seems to work well in this game. Uh, but yeah, we'll do another tree. We'll see how well we can do it again. Obviously that one wasn't perfect because it got stuck on these stumps. But we'll get one of these. Quite. Not sure what's holding it on though. Yeah, that should do it. Just see where that goes to. Yeah, it's pointing a different direction this time. But that isn't necessarily a bad thing because I can come round with this.
it is very narrow though. So whether this will reach or not I have no idea. But we'll feed it in. If it will go in. There it goes. So it does work. And it actually does work quite well. And this trailer is filling it much quicker than last week. These are obviously much more established trees. It just shows what a difference it makes though. If you don't allow your trees to grow fully. So that is 22% in there. And that is two and a half trees. There was a bit from earlier. Um, so if I just do... I don't know, another six trees maybe. Then we might be able to fill that trailer up. And I think if I keep going for these higher ground ones, then they should roll down to where the tractor is. Uh, I don't know if that's going to roll. Mm, nope, it's got stuck there. And I don't think I can get the tractor up here, so I'm going to have to get it to come a bit more. Right, so I can't get it any further down than that, so if I just manoeuvre around here, it is very steep. Um, I might be able to get the trailer closer too, that would be good. is an issue. If I can get everything up here then it will be fine. But there's like this um, steep bank there which is hard to get the trailer up. Now arguably it probably isn't the right trailer. It's more for grain this trailer. It could do with a bit more of an off-roading trailer. You know, rough terrain. Well, that is up. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good at all. But we'll just see if I can get this one. Yep, seems to be taking it. Just feeding it all through. This is what I mean by unrealistic. See, it's pulling it through the trailer. Not good. Different view here. But it's feeding it in a realistic way. It's not like uh, just grabbing the tree and then it just shreds the whole thing in a few seconds. It's gradually feeding it in, which it would do. It's obviously not overpowered. Ah, now this is where it gets trickier because it's let's let go of it. Let's see if we can pull it up from this angle. It is gradually feeding it in trying to do it. You can see it pulling it. It's gradually sliding into it. A little bit more. There it goes. So that is tree number three. Now, I don't know, if I can get that trailer up there then things should be pretty easy. But I think for a start, we'll just fell another tree and just see where it lands. Right, so I think this time I'm going to go for one of these lower trees. I'm just worried about it rolling into the road. It looks like something has rolled into the road. Yes, it has. That little log down there has stopped the entire road. <laughs> You'd have thought they'd be able to just get out and move it. So yeah, we'll take this one. Hopefully. Oh, it's going that way. Okay, that's um, not necessarily too bad. We'll have a go. I'll position this at an angle. And then I will try and pull it up with this. Let's just see. Yes, it's pulling it. Yeah, that's, that's not too bad. It's working quite well. I 
I'm actually quite impressed with this mod. Hiring and lowering can sometimes sort of assist it, feed it through, and also shunting backwards. So it works. It does work. And this video is more like actually a, a mod spotlight in a way, because I'm sort of showing this mod off. Um, but it is really just because I was struggling so much last week with those trees, and they weren't even that big. Um, and I had a lot of people giving some good suggestions, and they are very good. There was one which was uh, like a, a log grab, which you, you grab onto the whole tree and you can pull it up a hill. Which I am actually looking to use, that would be pretty fun. Uh, and it would also make things a lot easier as well. Uh, that tree has actually just uh, rolled away. But yeah, that is another tree done, and I think we'll go for the next one. I'm not sure how many I'm going to do. But it was really just to uh, try out this this mod, and I am quite impressed. We'll see where this one goes then. Oh, it's coming this way. Which is actually worse. That would have been better going the other way. Not to worry, we will give it a go. Might have to move the trailer out of the way though. Possibly. Unless I can feed it in from the other way. I'll have a go. It's worth trying. I'll just park that there for now and then I'll put the trailer, I'll reverse it up. And if it doesn't work then I'll just turn it around and we'll attempt it the other way around. But if it does work then that'll make things a lot easier. It's that that I don't like, that is just so steep to be reversing up. It's crazy. But here goes. Okay. So now we know that doing it the opposite direction just deletes the tree. Hmm. We won't be doing that again. I know now though for next time. So I'll just reverse back down here and then we will fell the next tree. Right, so this one has rolled into a very good position. Very good. Should be able to put that straight into the trailer. As long as you get on the right angle. If I tuck right up towards this tractor. Should be able to feed it in. I'm hoping that's reaching the trailer. Might not be. Yep, that is. That's feeding it in. Probably the best one yet, actually, this one. It's got a good angle. We're feeding it in at a good angle. Slightly touching the front tyre of that tractor. Otherwise, looking good. So I think this can be the last tree. We have managed to get more than last week in less time. Okay, so we're on 40%. That tree has rolled down there as well, unfortunately. Uh, so I'm not saying by any means that this is perfect, because it's not. But it is easier. Um, I think if the land here was flat, then it would actually work really well. But then you tend to get forests on a slope at least. This one is more of a hill. Um, but I think really, it has worked quite well. So I'm pleased that I downloaded the mod. And if anyone else wants to, then the link is in the description below. Okay, so I'm gonna go and take this tractor back and then we'll go and sell the wood chips out the other one. 
Uh, I'm going to put it away in the shed just in case we do use it again, but I'm not holding out too much hope that we are. Um, it possibly will get a bit of a mixed reaction, realism side of things. Um, but I'm sure you can appreciate that things are quite difficult when it comes to forestry on this map, um, and it is worth trying out some different mods. And this mod is pretty good, and I'm going to leave it at that. I think that is probably the best description for it. It's pretty good, and it is good for... Uh, ease of use. Um, but yeah, we're going to put it away and we'll do something different next week. Right, so I put the other one there. I think this one can probably go in here. It doesn't really fold up as such. The, the chute just sort of hangs over the back. It doesn't fold up. But it should be okay in here for now. And then if we do decide to get rid of it, then I can just sell it from there. So that should be fine. And that's it for this tractor. Uh, we'll go and sell this. This tractor's a bit slower. But we will see how much we can get for it. We should get a fair bit. We have got 8,811 litres. And it's over a £1,000 per tonne. So, again, I don't know the, uh, the conversion between the litres and the tonnes. But I'm sure we'll get a fair bit we should be able to boost a bit more money and of course we will have to start paying off that loan as well so plenty of things to be working towards I don't think there is really any more machinery which we need I think we've pretty much got everything that we need for this map um, so if we can just start paying off the loan then that would be very useful so here we are the wood chip selling place is on the left and this time I'm going to reverse in definitely because before I went in forwards and there wasn't really much space to turn around so this is a good turning place here I'm going straight back from here I think this is probably the easiest way of doing it and if anyone has recently downloaded this map and they are asking where the uh, wood chip storage place is as far as I know there isn't one so your PDA will tell you you've got some in storage but I don't think you can sell it so anyone who's wondering that I think that is the answer for it so here we go, we'll sell this not too bad I think it was about £10,000 so not bad really for a little bit of work there so there we go, once again we have done some more forestry uh, again not perfect but we are getting slightly better I think and that mod was quite useful as well so thanks for watching everyone and you can join me tomorrow for the Mod Spotlight and Monday for Your Truck Simulator. So thanks for watching and bye for now.